All right, everybody, let's get started on the right foot here. So turn your worksheet over to the back, and this is where the exercises are. Um, I'm going to start with the main. My main looks a little bit different than the main at the top of your screen right now. This line's the same. I have removed this line. I still have fill with random. So the idea is I have an int array that's 10 ints long. Fill with random is a method that takes an int array as input and fills it with random numbers. This line's the same because I want to actually display what numbers are in there so I can see if my stuff makes sense. And what's going to happen from now on is you're going to create your own methods that do stuff with arrays and you're going to test them. So I'm going to paste in the first two lines here. So let's pretend we've made a method called return sum that looks like this. <clears throat> return sum is supposed to display the sum of the first two things in the list. Which list? This input list. So I'm going to add up those two numbers. I'll return them as an answer. It gets saved into answer, and then I'll print out what it is. So if I'm going to create this method, I need to create it outside of the main method. And I can say public, static. I don't want to say void, because return sum is supposed to be returning the sum of two numbers. So I think I should return int. The name of my method is return sum. And what do I do for input? I don't want to say like int n, because my input is not a single int variable. My input is this list. So int bracket bracket is the way that you say int array. And you can call it whatever you want. Uh, I'll call it nums, maybe. So the idea is this list now is getting assigned to this variable nums. So it's a new variable name, but it's actually the same list. All right, well, I want to return the sum. So let's do this. Int answer equals nums 0 plus nums 1. So this is the thing in location 0, the thing in location 1. I add them together. That's my answer. And then I can say return answer. OK, let's run it and see if it works. Here I've run it. 4 and 6, I add those up, and those should be 10. And here it says the first. The sum of the first two is 10. Let's run it again. So now it's 9 and 3, and those really do add up to 12. So I see that this method that adds the first two things in my list really does work. Um, we could make it shorter than this. It's a little silly to save my answer inside a variable here right before I return it. I could just return this expression directly. So I'm just going to return the result of adding these two things together, and that's a little bit shorter. All right. Um, let's get you started with the second one. I'm not going to solve it for you, but I'll get you started. So the next one says return larger. So here I'm going to paste uh, what's already in your worksheet. But this is another test case. Here my method is return larger. I'll save the answer. And now I'll display what it is so that I can check to make sure that the answer makes sense. So let's make return larger public static int return larger. It takes, let's see, an in, the input is another int array. So I'll call this nums. And then you fill this in so that it works. The next one's tricky. So let's just do the next one together before you implement your solution to number two. So number three says it's a method called same first, which should return true if the two input arrays have the same first element. So let's do this, boolean same equals same first. And now I need two, I could say list list, oops. And the idea is the two, the two arrays I have here, I'm going to look at the first thing in this one and the first thing in that one and return true if the first thing is the same in both. Well, here I'm using the same list for both of them, so of course it should be. Let's make another, let's make another uh, test list. So I'm going to make a new int array called list2 that's also 10 long. And here's the nice part about having your own methods. I can use fill with random again on list2. So now I have my first random list, and now I've just made a second random list. So now if I really want to test my method to the same first, I can give it two different lists here. All right, system.out.println same. 
And I guess I won't know if it worked unless I also display this second list. So let's take this same print statement and paste it down here. So now I'm creating my first random array and printing it. Here I'm creating my second random array and, hold on, printing it. And now I can test same first to see if it worked. As a last step, let's start creating this method and then you can fill in the insides to make sure it works. So it's called same first, so I'll say public static something same first and then something for the inputs. So let's see, return value first. Well, same first is testing to see if the first things are the same. So that sounds like it's gonna be a true or false answer because I'm saying yes or no, are they the same? I also know that because I'm storing the answer inside a Boolean, it's a true or false return value, so this should be Boolean. Okay, what about the inputs? I know I need two inputs. What is the data type for each input? The first should be an int array. The second should also be an int array. So I'll say int array nums one, int array nums two. So again, these patterns are always exactly the same. This is just like if I had said int n string names. It's two separate inputs. The only difference is the data type is int array. Okay, I hope this has gotten you off on the right foot. Um, good luck, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.